pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios entera con libertad y justicia para todos. Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm here to remind you to get your yearbooks this Thursday. You can get them at the front of the school for $16. You can pay with cash, credit card, or check. Don't wait, don't wait too long, you'll, or else they'll get sold out. Is it that right, Tiger? I love science. Chicken and turkey are popular foods for carnivores, but might the birds' feathers find their way onto future menus? That's the aim of Lund University researchers, who have isolated and refined a microorganism found on an Egyptian hen farm. We have isolated a unique microorganism. This microorganism are able to degrade a feather completely to a soluble protein. Feathers are melted into a protein hydrolysate liquid of small chain peptides and amino acids. In this process, we have not used any chemicals except the substrate, which is the raw feather from a chicken industry, and then the microorganism. And the end product is only hydrolyzed feather into a soluble protein and nothing else. There are no waste in this process and no chemicals at all have been used. The microorganisms have a 90% conversion rate and could replace fish meal and soy protein as animal feed. Spin-off company BioExtracts hopes to perfect the technique next year. After that, researchers plan to adapt their protein for human consumption, no doubt ruffling some feathers on the way. For lunch today we have Wild Mike's Cheese Pizza. Chef salad with turkey, boiled egg and cheese box, crunchy baby carrots, ranch dressing, Caesar side salad, assorted fresh fruit, and of course a choice of milk. <laughs>